Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. The sign reads Sarah Kaplan and Julie Gilberg. The sign says Adrian Tucker, resident assistant. Just a bunch of notices, guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. Hmm? Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was, there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. The sign says Sandy Chen and Sonata Munier. The sign reads Amanda Fay and Karen Schreier. It's a drinking fountain. The sign says Kelly Hawthorne and Joanne Sherman. Yeah? Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. It's just a small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? So you and Joanne weren't close. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. Can you go away? You don't care? Not even a little bit? No, I don't. Why the hell should I? For that matter, why should you? Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Look, my boss will kill me if I come back with nothing. Can't you help me out here? Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? 
Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. So Joanne was a good student? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. All right. Just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Ugh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. This is getting bad. Oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Right. No more interruptions. Done. Articles finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. No. What's... What is happening? It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like... like... What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No. It's just the stress, that's all. 
Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest. That's all. Why do they always do that? Long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. What? Ahem. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No. You don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you... No! I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head! There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, you shut up. You're gonna listen. And you're gonna listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it. You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Who are you, and what the hell do you want with me? Huh, you don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the Family Spirit Guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah, you felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Nishanti? It has something to do with Nishanti. The old lady? No. Think harder. You mean... the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've gotta go. What? Right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Fine. We'll do it in the morning. No can do. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. 
But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait. I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. We're here to help you. Help? Yeah, that's us. We're helpers. Help. Help. He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick! He poisoned us! Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you! Run! Run away like all the others! Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're... You're him! He's the only one who won't go away! Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands, haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs>